In this AutoCAD tutorial video, we're going to go over how to make a basic table lamp and our final product will look like this. So it's a basic table lamp with a drum shade. And then we happen to have a cord sticking out here. If we take a look at that in something like an x-ray view, you'll see that the cord actually runs through the lamp, so it's a glass base. So when you put a material on, you'll actually be able to see through the lamp. In a new drawing, we're going to be working in two viewports with the top viewport on the left and a southwest isometric on the right. And then down at the bottom of the screen, we have on ortho, object snap, and object snap tracking. So on the home tab, we're going to go ahead and grab a circle. And the first thing we're going to do is actually draw the simple base of the lamp. So I'll draw a circle with a three inch radius. You can see that over here in the isometric view as well. And then while I'm over there, I'm going to draw a line from the midpoint here straight up 24 inches. Then at the top, I'm going to draw another circle, and this one will have a radius of 2. Then I will use my loft command to pick these two circles, and I'll hit enter, and now I have a solid cylinder that's slightly tapered. Then I'm going to copy the cylinder off to the side, and I'm going to use a scale factor of, let's say, 0.9 to shrink this down to 90% its original size. Then I can just move this shape right back inside. And I can move it up perhaps one inch. I'd like a thick glass base down at the bottom. And if you'd like, you could actually grab the shape inside and stretch it up a little higher. Maybe I'll just stretch the top one more inch. So we get something that looks like that. Okay, now I will use my subtract command, pick the outer shape, enter, then the inner shape, and it will hollow out the inside. Okay, now we have the base down. What I can do then is use a circle from the center point, come out with a radius of 1, and we'll extrude that 0.25. Then I'll do another circle from the top center point on that shape, 0.25, and then I'll extrude that up 12 inches. When I get up here, I'm going to make a circle from this point out 10 inches to begin the shade. It's a very large shade on this lamp. I'm going to do another circle off to the side that also has a 10 inch radius. On this circle, I'll do an extrusion at negative 8. And what that's going to give me is, is a solid. What I can do with that solid then is explode, select it, and hit enter. Then I can click the top and delete it, the bottom and delete it, and now I have a hollow shade. On this circle, we're going to draw a smaller one to do a sweep. So I'll do that one at point 0.1. Right, then I'll do a sweep of this circle around the larger one. And then we'll move this shape from the center point here to the center point here. And that's going to give us a nice rim around the shade. I can make a copy of that. 
grab from the center point and move it down 8 inches so it goes on the top and the bottom of the shade. Then on the outside, I'm going to draw a line that's 10 inches long with another small circle attached to the end. I'll then do a sweep with this circle along this line. I'll move my new long cylinder from this point to this point. I can use a polar array, select the cylinder, enter, pick this point, and for I items, I'll say three, enter. And now I have the structure holding up the shade. At this point, I could get a little fancier. I could create a light bulb or something like that, but I'm just going to union this. First, I need to explode, actually. Then I can union this as one solid object. Okay. So now we have the shade with something holding it up and the base of the lamp. At this point, what we really have left is to actually just create the cord. So I'm going to go from my top view here to a front view so we can see our lamp. And then off to the side, I'll just take a polyline and I'm going to start it here, come down maybe 22 inches. And we're just going to create a slight curve. So maybe I'll come over three, down one, over four, something like that. So you can have a cord that is draping off a table or you know that kind of a thing. Once I have this shape actually created, I'm going to use P Edit. And I have a polyline, so I can select that polyline. And now I want to make it a spline. So I'll say S for spline, Enter. And it just gave that a slightly more natural curve than the really harsh one I had created. I'll once again do a circle. Whoops. Forgot to hit Enter. OK. Do a circle on the end. 0.1 radius with a simple sweep. And then we can move that right inside. So I'll do a move and I'll maybe try to grab it from this view. And we'll bring it over to the base there. And we'll take a look at this from the top. That's looking pretty good. We'll check it out in X-ray view. Maximize the viewport. And there you have a modern transparent glass lamp.